All right, so with 4,448 votes, uh, Ambassador Dr. Nigel Clark is the newly appointed Member of Parliament for the St. Andrew Northwest constituency. Morning, sir. Congratulations. Good morning. Um, great to see you. You've been on this show for many different reasons. You came with uh, an orchestra. Um, yes. we've, we've spoken about That's all right. kinds of different things, but now it's... it's I was here for chess. Yeah. I was here for the... I'm yeah. a program. Yeah, I've been here several You're times. A, Thanks. A, man, a man with many talents. Yeah. Good morning, Doctor. Um, Good morning. Let me start with a with a with a soft one. What did the family say when you said um, you wanted to go into <laughs> representational <laughs> politics? The uh, my mother was very concerned. Um, she immediately called her friends at church, and they started to pray. Uh, and they continue to pray, and which I, I covet their prayers. Uh, she knows what she's doing. So she was very concerned. Pray that you didn't do it, or pray, <laughs> that, pray that if you would do it, you would do it uh, as, she, as well as she would have wanted you she to. Would, she would probably have rather that I not do it in this way. She was happy when I served in the Senate as a senator. Uh, serving in representational politics is a, a different kind of service. And she would have been very concerned. My wife and my children have been very supportive. My brother, my sister, brother's sister have been extremely supportive. And so I've had that kind of reaction. Yeah. Why did you want to do it in the first place? I have served Jamaica in a number of capacities. I have served as an ambassador. I've served as a senator. I founded an NGO 10 years ago engaged in youth empowerment through music. I have uh, served uh, as the chairman of the board of several large public sector institutions, such as HART, the NHT, uh, Port Authority of Jamaica, and I've also served in business as uh, deputy chairman, chairman, uh, CEO, managing director, chief operating officer of a range of companies in Jamaica. One thing that I have learned through that is that you can have impact in those forms of service, but if you want to maximize for the most number of people, there's only one way to do that, and that's through the political process. So I'm passionate about Jamaica. I am fervent in my belief of the power and potential of Jamaica and our people, and I want to do everything that I can while I'm here on this earth to advance our interests. Excellent. Let's look at your constituency now, St. Yeah. Andrew Northwestern. Let's look at some of the issues. Okay, I'm sure that you have surveyed the mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. you have walked with the people, mm -hmm. and you've observed. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for action. You mm -hmm. represent, you're there to serve, you're a servant of that constituency. Mm -hmm. Dr. Clark, what are your plans? Thank you. I spent, uh, it was a short campaign period, I spent three weeks walking every day meeting with uh, constituents in their homes, in the church, by the bar, uh, the bus stop, mm -hmm. and I listened and I heard. I plan to address the concerns of the residents. Roads would be the number one uh, priority, and that work has started okay. and it will continue. Clearly, it's not possible to do everything at the same time, mm -hmm. but the work has begun and will continue to address roads. The second major concern of people in Northwest St. Andrew would be the availability of opportunities for young people. Mm -hmm. So I plan to be engaged in youth empowerment mm -hmm. for persons who have not finished their education to get them enrolled or to help them, to point them in directions through which they can complete their education and those who need skills training, mm -hmm. point them in directions where they can uh, access skills training and those who need jobs to try and help to facilitate that. Okay. And, you know, the Constituency Development Fund happens yearly. Now mm -hmm. you, are, you can oversee 20-something million dollars that you will be able to spend in your constituency. How do the people have dialogue with you about the, the funds that you'll spend? So you said roads was a, was a concern. You speak about youth empowerment, but how will you then be disbursing those funds in the different areas so that the people can be satisfied? And how do they have dialogue with you about how you spend sure. the money? Sure. But first of all, CDF can't kind of fix roads. No. I mean, right, roads so are, it's a local... Local government and, and national government mm -hmm. through NWA would uh, deal with roads. Okay. But in terms of allocation of funding from the CDF, I plan to do that in a transparent way mm -hmm. and in a way in which there's consultation with uh, community groups, with 
neighborhood groups, with okay. citizens' associations to ensure that when decisions are made, they reflect a collective will rather than just the loudest mouth. Okay. Right? So that we, we have support for the direction in which we're moving in neighborhoods and in different sections of the constituency. Okay. Yep. Um, even though Mr. Bunting said uh, his comments were taken out of context, um, he was suggesting maybe, um, and these are my words, that maybe you were not the right man for the job. Do you have a, a, did you have a response? To well, I mean, Mr. I think the people of Northwest and Andrew have spoken emphatically. 61% uh, of those who cast their votes, cast their votes for me. In any part of the world, that's a landslide, and it represents an increase in the margin in percentage terms over 2016. Uh, I think that speaks volumes. And that would be your response to Mr. Bunting? Uh, the people have spoken. Yeah. But not uh, a, I would have to ask you, in defense of Mr. Bunting, was he not probed and pushed to compare the two candidates and basically... Um, aren't we all aspiring for that British colonial education, even in Jamaica? Were you offended by the comments at all? And how did you react when you actually watched the Did you watch the video? I or went to St. Richard's Primary yes. in, uh, on Red Hills Road. Mm -hmm. I went to Monroe College for mm -hmm. seven years in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I went to the University of the West Indies. I came first in the Caribbean at the University of the West Indies. I got the best degree in the Faculty of natural sciences in Jamaica, in Barbados, mm -hmm. and in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. I got a Jamaica scholarship from Monroe to the University of the West Indies. I got a Commonwealth scholarship from the University of the West Indies to Oxford University, and I got a Rhodes scholarship. So you're an international you, bright man. If you call that a British education, right. then I would say to you that... Um, you are not a patriotic Jamaican. No, but I mean, our Jamaican system, even our political system, mm. is taken. The queen is still the head of state. To be fair, what I'm trying to say is anybody that's educated under the queen in Jamaica or wherever you are in the Commonwealth, it's still coming from that. But I'm saying, did, were you offended by it? Because were you offended? No, really we, no, we live in a democracy. Right. Everyone is, has a, a voice. Everyone can say what they want. Some people say foolish things. Some people say smart things. Do you think what he at said the, was foolish? At the end of the day, mm -hmm. the people uh, listen and the people make a choice. Uh, there's been reaction. I don't need to comment. Mm -hmm. I don't need to get involved. There's right. been sufficient reaction in the public domain, mm -hmm. on social media, in, on electronic media, right. in the print. I don't need to add my voice to it. I think that it has been weighed on the scales and it has been found wanting. Yep. Well, I wish I was as bright as you. I just want to say, so congratulations on Thank all you. of your Another success. Another political commentator was suggesting that uh, maybe you should immediately be um, given a ministry. Um, oh, yes. Were that so? And I, I think I know your what your response, because you're not even close to that yet. But mm -hmm. were that to be so, would you have a, a particular ministry that you would want to serve in? Well, how I would address that is to say that I am the MP elect mm -hmm. for Northwestern Andrew. I have not even been sworn in yet. As I yet. said, I know you're going to say you're not even close <laughs> to that. I have yet. not even been sworn in but yet. I've gone past that. So, so <laughs> humor me. So, so <laughs> humor me. Where do you want to be? be? It would be absolutely inappropriate of me to even consider. I have been elected overwhelmingly yeah. to serve the people and the interests of Northwest St. Andrew. <laughs> and that's where my focus is right now. So you're not going to humor me this morning and, and respond to that in a specific I, way. I, I think I think I've... Well, you know, he's a youth <laughs> empowerment man. He's a music man. That's he's right. a finance and economics man. That's right. So he could go anywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you, Empress. <laughs> you know, what's interesting, though, is watching you on the ground. Um, are you, you know, when you're walking with the people, it must be a new... Is it a new world for you? like just being out there in the streets? Because being a politician alone is a hard job. There are a lot of expectations, and you have to walk in all areas. Are you comfortable in being in the streets? Mm. Very good. Let me... People are getting to know me uh, mm -hmm. and getting to put the various parts of my personality together. I have done a lot of things. Uh, sometimes it's not necessarily relevant, not, 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 sorry, not necessarily, people aren't necessarily aware that it's the same person. Mm -hmm. I started a youth orchestra program 10 years ago, modeled on El Sistema out of Venezuela, one of the most forceful social programs out of Venezuela that has been mimicked mm. 
or has been replicated around the world, I brought that to Jamaica. Mm. And that program takes young people from challenged backgrounds and enrolls them in classical musical, music education as a tool of social empowerment. That mm -hmm. is taking something that's usually reserved as a privilege of the elite, where mm -hmm. children from Upper St. Andrew and mm -hmm. Kingston 6 and Kingston 8 mm -hmm. all send their kids to at least one year of music training, and yet persons from challenged backgrounds don't have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I saw that as an inequity, mm -hmm. and I started a program 10 years ago through blood, sweat, and tears, raising money every year, hundreds. I have hundreds through an organization, I should say, mm -hmm. not alone. I'm the mm -hmm. chairman of the organization, and I, I founded the organization. Uh, every day after school for two to three hours a day, Hundreds of kids learn to play the violin and the cello and the flute mm -hmm. free of charge as a, uh, in a way that builds self-esteem, builds confidence. And this is a program that emanated from Venezuela and has been running in Venezuela successfully for 30 or 40 years. I say that to say that I have been with the people for a very long time. And I just want to say, to classical music is African, so I don't want anybody writing anything about what the guy's saying. It's a European music. We invented everything. Thank you very much. <laughs> and as you know, Empress, you know, I, I, I gave a speech on Marcus Garvey's Accomplish What You Will about six or seven years ago, mm -hmm. which has been my personal motto, Accomplish What You Will. Mm -hmm. What Garvey taught us is that all aspiration is legitimate. There is no sphere of knowledge that does not belong to us. Mm -hmm. And we must open access to everybody. Yep. The same access that you have in Stony Hill or that you have in Cherry Gardens, on the top of Cherry Gardens. The person who lives in the, in the street and who lives in inner city communities must have. It's called have equality of opportunity. Of course. Yeah. Congrats again. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Thank and you very much. I hope you'll be working with Keisha Hale all, as well. Wish you all the very, very best. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Member of Parliament for the St. Andrew Northwest constituency, Ambassador Dr. Nigel. And Park. I want to say good morning as well to Keisha Hale, once again, the PMP candidate, and hopefully you will all be working together to build your constituency. All right? Serving the people. Thanks Details next. Yes, thank you.